<laughs> Hi guys, we're best friends. And <laughs> One last thing, so people yes. don't get upset with me. Uh, it was short and pink, and yes, I was yes. obsessed. We labeled it the strawberry shortcake <laughs> hair. Oh. channel for such an exciting episode we can't even begin to explain how crazy this was wow <laughs> almost speechless this whole entire experience was absolutely incredible anyway as you can see by the title we had the pleasure to <laughs> I know, to speak to the queen herself, Morissette. Asia's Phoenix. Asia's freaking Phoenix. So I just wanted to quickly come on here and say, and do a proper intro and say hi, and to let you know, which I'm sure you already know, her EP signature is out now right all now. over the world. Yes. Literally, you can stream it anywhere. It's also hitting charts like crazy. We're, oh my God. I'm so happy for her and for uh, Dave and just the, their whole team. They literally killed it. Yeah, they did. Maury, Dave, and their incredible team. Yeah. You guys did absolutely phenomenal. Can Congratulations. Congratulations. Y'all are killing it and yes. we cannot be even more happy for y'all. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, check out the EP. All the links are down below. And with all of that, let's get into the video. I've heard, I've heard about you guys for a while, especially just reacting to my videos and of course i remember you guys i did a video for you guys <laughs> so <I'm, laughs> i and it is my pleasure to be doing this also thank you so much for also accepting the invitation we're, we're so excited <laughs> oh my god marissa you you don't this is like a dream come true girl yeah we, we have this ongoing joke in our in our on our channel where we're like, oh, we're set. Anytime we do a reaction, we're like, she's our best friend. Like, yeah, we know her. <laughs> yeah like even though we met you literally like two point seven <laughs> seconds ago. <laughs> now we're here. Yes. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you, <laughs> thank you for for sending an invitation. Yeah, it was definitely in a time that was needed for us too. Um, like content wise, not even content wise, just like we haven't. We haven't posted in a while, so it's kind of yeah, like we've been going through our own, own mental struggles. struggles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, everything. So it's so. just the uh, it happened at the right yeah. time. Yeah. I mean, my fans love you. <laughs> that's I think that's all I can say. My fans really love you guys. So I also just want to give that shout out also to all of them because they also made this happen. So thank you. <laughs> So how has quarantine life been going for you, Maury? What's been going on? Your hobbies? What has what's been me? Yeah, I mean, I'm here stuck at home. We're currently on um, lockdown here in the Philippines. Well, in Metro Manila, at least. Right. And it really just forced me, especially at the beginning of the of the pandemic last year here in the Philippines. It really just forced me to try to do something else rather than just wait for events and wait for me to just perform elsewhere. Mm -hmm. And I guess it's really through the pandemic that I got into um, what I'm doing now, which is like songwriting and producing my own stuff and um i came out with love you still in phoenix in the past couple of months and i'm just so happy that everyone has been giving good responses to the song and um pretty soon i'm also gonna be out with my ep which is more songs out of I'm, I'm scared <laughs> i'm scared but i'm also excited to just finally share these tracks after working on on them for like about a year since the pandemic wow oh why why are you nervous though why are you scared um because it's the first time that i'm that i'm really doing this <laughs> like it's the first time that i've gotten into songwriting officially and just producing yeah. but i'm also just really happy that i'm surrounded with really amazing people who just keep supporting and just are a light to this whole process and um and yeah we're finally releasing the song and it's really teamwork with everyone and we're just really excited we're able to hear these yeah, tracks as so well. Excited as well. <laughs> we are. I mean, we've we've seen the re, uh, videos to Phoenix. And yeah, love you still, and we were blown away yes. by your talents. Yes, and your acting Thank skills you. in your music videos. Yes, too. and love you still, and how you were so dramatic. Oh my. And it was like I was like, yes, you better go for it. You better you go. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, it was, it was, and I think with Love You Still most especially between the two songs, it was just very personal. So yeah. I guess that's maybe why there was some emotion in there <laughs> in the music yeah. video. But I guess it's also just the vibe of the place because we shot at um, our good friend's um, rest house, our beach house. So it was just also very relaxing and it felt so easy to just let it all out. <laughs> so yeah <laughs> we need to find a place like that we, need to find a place we don't like have that. that place we need to find one yeah. <laughs> like, you you know those things where like you'll see people like scream towards the ocean or like towards like yes. a running train or something yeah. That's mm -hmm. like, anyway That's sorry okay. <laughs> That's okay. it's not crazy it's no it's like, okay i like, need that place too and especially just with the lockdown you know you're yeah. you're having to face just walls and there was right. there was a point here especially in metro manila where it was three three months that people were really not allowed to go out um so it was really tough and like for me when things start, finally started to open up here in manila i was one of those people that really went out and went to a place far away from the city and just needed to like breathe because yeah. it's i mean i don't think humans are made to just stay in <laughs> i mean we're meant to just go around enjoy nature enjoy talking to people interacting to people in a in a in personal way and just in person <laughs> but i mean we're here and we just gotta go through everything but yeah. it's, it's fine we're okay <laughs> we're still very blessed right you talked yeah. about you know during quarantine you kind of picked up songwriting was there any any other skills or hobbies you got into during um the year in the pandemic, pandemic. yeah well I, I i realized i was a green thumb <laughs> so my tiny condo became a jungle <laughs> It's just a year. There's so many plants over here. This is just one. But like, I I think that's one of the things that really kept me busy also, despite the music side. Um, it's a nice, I found that it was a nice, just stress reliever to just having to do something also. And I mean, I start my days just, or start my mornings just taking care of my plants. And it just distresses me yeah. listening to music in the morning. And I think that's definitely top of what I was able to um, do during the pandemic um, beside music. So yeah. all there, that, just that. Oh, <laughs> Is that really cool. I got a <laughs> succulent for my birthday. I'm trying to get oh! uh, having a green thumb as well. So I got a little yeah. succulent, my first baby. Did you kill the other one? What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I killed a lot of succulents also um, in the beginning because I didn't know it was different. Like each plant had different cares, especially yeah. when I was starting. I, I didn't know that, um, especially with succulents, it's different, especially if you're coming from leafy plants and then transitioning to succulents, it's very different. So I definitely had a couple of them die on me, but I mean, I just tried again and they're doing okay i guess <laughs> so i'm not the only one <laughs> yes <laughs> so what, you know compared to now right we talked a little bit about what your life is like in quarantine what was it mm. what's a day in the life pre-pandemic you know yeah. hopefully after all of this kind of has wrapped up what, what does that look mm. like pre-pandemic my life has just always been especially back in 2019 i was traveling a lot like i was everywhere every month i was in the airport the people in the airport already know me <laughs> it was that crazy but then um and every day i was just singing doing gigs and doing performances everywhere and shows but then when the pandemic happened that's where it really challenged me and it really challenged a lot of the live events people especially of course everyone was affected by the pandemic but um like with live events because everyone um when the lockdown here when the stricter lockdown here finally um went away the live events group still wasn't able to do we weren't able to do shows yet because we, were, we can't gather people. Um, although church was starting to, um, they started to accepting people again, but live events was really a no-no here. And up until now, we can't do physical concerts yet. That's why everyone's having to do digital shows or live streams and just the, the, these stuff as well. So, um, but I, I, I can't, I can never compare um, digital performing performances to live shows because 
I mean, you can't, you can't, you can't trade that experience of being in an actual show and being able to just watch that artist perform live in front of your eyes and just hearing their their voice and the band and the ambience of everything. I mean, that's something I really do miss, and that's something I'm looking forward to. And hopefully, everything's okay again to do to do those things. Yes. <laughs> hopefully soon. It's so crazy that you're talking about this, and just in my head, I'm just thinking, well, there was a concert the other day over here, like, we really, <laughs> like it's really bad over here, because yeah, yeah. when I heard about this thing, there was a gathering of 14,000 people the other day, it wasn't even like a concert, it was just like, like a, a gathering party? of people, yeah, of course, what? and I'm like, hello, y'all, hello, <laughs> <laughs> like, what's happening here, yeah, <laughs> Man, I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm envy. I'm jealous. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm, I mean, of course, I, I miss. I just miss that feeling also of just right. being around people. But it's, it's, it's hard. But because I, we also need to be sensitive of the other people because not everyone is going through the pandemic the same. Right. Like I know people who are very um, in fear during these times. Where whereas I also know people here in Manila that just don't care. Yeah. They just really don't care, but then they have to comply with the law, of course. So, yeah. I mean, it's just in the middle, and I mean, I I I know everyone's just really wanting to just be back to what it was yeah. before pre-pandemic. So, yeah. yeah. <sighs> so Why? <we're> <laughs> <laughs> well, <little bit. laughs> yeah, listen. Yeah. For this whole entire last year, we've talked about it a couple times. Yeah, it's been yeah. rough because, again, like you said, we're like enclosed. I mean, technically, mm. pretty much in Florida, but it kind of <laughs> like your mind starts to run. You know, oh, yeah. that happens. It's mm -hmm. you really have to find something mm -hmm. to, to yeah. time right mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. but you were talking about uh like uh your music and stuff and that's what you used to do uh, before the quarantine when yes. was the moment we're gonna take it back just a little bit mm -hmm. reverse 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 okay when was the moment where you're like you know what I, I want to do this as a career, like singing, yeah. being an artist, being a creator. Mm. When was that moment for you? I think that moment came for me. I was very, very young, like nine or 10, because in my early years, before I officially started my career, I was joining, joining a lot of singing competitions. And especially here in the Philippines, there's a lot of them. Yeah. Um, all the more in my province in Cebu. Um, it's crazy. Like everyone sings in Cebu, like, karaoke machines everywhere and all of the houses everywhere so like music is just filled there especially in my province and i think it was just it just came to me naturally i was just joining competitions doing a couple gigs small gigs at that time and i realized and i told my parents that maybe i could really do this and it's it's to the point where i don't even have a backup plan wow like if people ask me um especially like with with college what i wanted to take up if i if i decided to do college or take up college i i don't have an answer to that just because i think at a very young age i was already that was already my mindset that i really just wanted to be um an artist or a singer it started to just being a singer and now being and trying to be an overall artist um but yeah, I've just always loved singing ever since I was young and I was filled with music. Uh, my family was very musically inclined as well. So I guess it just, it every, everything just um, came into place and just everything just happened naturally. And I'm just really grateful that um, there have also been people in my life, also besides my family, who have continued to support me and have continued to uh, just be um, very, very encouraging of the things that I also wanted to um like just to grow as an artist as well so yeah yeah very early <laughs> yeah. Nine yeah. Years old. i was still playing with barbies at <laughs> <laughs> i did not know what i wanted to be like yeah that's... at nine i was not and it's so inspiring and it's like yeah. something that you said uh just now about how like you don't have a backup plan for so mm -hmm. you're 25 correct Yes, I just okay. turned 25, yeah. Happy, <laughs> happy belated birthday. Thank you. Oh, no. We just turned 24. And um, 
Yeah. So we kind of age range yeah, right there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but one of us is an international pop star and the other one us. <laughs> yes, you, you guys are international pop stars too. And you're all wrong because like I mean, I just said it. You have you have a lot of Filipino fans. Yeah. That makes it guys international. And I mean, thank God for the internet also. But I mean, I just also and I keep telling this to um to a lot of people that the internet really opened a lot of um, possibilities for everyone, not just for artists, because it allowed us to connect like this and connect with other people that before, before pre-pandemic and even the internet, we didn't have that chance to do uh, to, to do that. So, um, yeah, thank God for the internet, especially during this pandemic. <laughs> yes, definitely, yeah. definitely. But um, I'm sorry, I got so it's okay. <laughs> um you said something that i think a lot of uh younger people need to hear and that's everybody's told that you kind of need that backup plan and i'm not saying that that because that's what i was told and that's something that i was like okay you know i need a backup plan and then a backup plan for my backup plan just in case yeah oh my god it was like drilled into our brain yeah high school for sure Mm -hmm. for sure but it's really inspiring to hear you say that i don't have a backup plan this is what i'm gonna put my all into and i think also Sometimes you can't focus all of your time and all of your thoughts and all of that on one thing. If you have so many, you're like, oh, you're preparing for worst case scenario at the same time. Yeah, I think Mm -hmm. it's really inspiring to hear that Mm -hmm. very much so. I think definitely one of my struggles, because we were also talking about just um, anxiety and stuff, especially during the pandemic, to have no backup plan is also hard, especially like coming from what I just also shared that because I don't have a backup plan, I don't know what else to do. I mean, I, I can probably do or learn things and, and um, I can, I can also say that I can, I can learn fast or mm-hmm. quite well, but like, it's, I'm not like really confident in other stuff besides my music and especially just my singing before it's really just my singing. I wasn't open to songwriting before because I just kept denying it. I just kept saying that I don't have a skill for that. And I guess it just made me just that kind of artist. Okay, I'm just a singer. I'm just a singer. But then because of the pandemic, it really just challenged me to try to do something else. Um, Although it's still part of, it's still in line of my music and my career, which is still okay. And like I said, I'm just really, really grateful. There are people in my life who continue to help me and support me um, as I kind of transition to that. But um, yeah, there's, there's, especially in the past couple of months i've also just had anxiety and just so much stress having to go through everything for the first time the production excuse me the production process and i mean it wasn't easy because i was also just used to like the songs being given to me and not having not having to think about anything else after that right. that was my life for the past eight years in my career mm-hmm. but then when i when i saw how the production process really went through mm-hmm. it it tested my patience it tested me it tested a lot of me <laughs> but i mean it's it's a process and I, I i i keep hearing or especially in the past months i keep seeing this quote that you just have to choose your heart mm your heart because it's hard doing this it's every every job is hard every work is hard so you just gotta choose which one you're 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 willing to take which hard you're willing to take so you yeah, better preach beautiful. more you better <laughs> preach. you are speaking directly to me no. <laughs> and if your ep is anything like the other two songs you've already released that we've reacted to like we like we can't, we're so excited yeah like it's, it's gonna be lit. incredible it's you are be so lit. beyond talented as a singer Thank which we've you. already known yeah. and now we're seeing as a songwriter which is so, so cool yeah it's really exciting i'm yeah. so excited for you like this is like i this is really amazing and to hear you <laughs> like you're passionate about this and putting your all into this like yeah. it's yeah that's dope it kind of i try <laughs> <laughs> you're dope maury you're, dope. <laughs> you're pretty cool <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you. Hello? Hello? We're almost what? <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> All right, we're going to get into our game. Yes, I am. I have the songs ready here in my terracotta pot. <laughs> Such a planty thing. I'm so, so, all my songs are here. Oh and, my God. Uh, 
A lot better yeah. than this kind of <laughs> Dollar Tree. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> so, no. for the people. Okay. Did we introduce ourselves? We didn't introduce ourselves. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hey, guys. We'll do it real quick and we'll just. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Hey guys, it's Bubs. And doll, oh, what is popping? And as you can already see, we've got <laughs> Asia's Asia's Phoenix. Asia's Phoenix. <laughs> hey guys, we're best friends. <laughs> we're best friends. <laughs> there go. There go. Okay, go. We're ready. We're ready. <laughs> so for this game, basically Morissette has a bowl of songs that she's gonna hand select at random. <laughs> and we've got a bowl of emotions. Um, so different types, like happy, sad, whatever, you name it. Um, oh, basically, yeah. whatever song Morissette chooses, she'll have to sing in the emotion that we choose. <laughs> so, for example, real quick, give me a random song. Uh, happy by okay. Pharrell. Happy by Pharrell. That's so, easy. Yeah, so if she, it's not one of them, but if she were to get <laughs> happy by Pharrell, and let's say I picked out, oh my God, sad. Oh my gosh. <laughs> have to sing it. <laughs> in a sad emotion yeah basically you can change the um tempo the melody, the melody oh. to make it tone, with the emotion the harmony what else are like vocal <laughs> like just naming a whole bunch of yeah musicals. yeah <laughs> oh my god Require one for one year <laughs> <laughs> we lip sync the whole entire time more <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm actually scared because this will this will definitely test my songwriting which is not good yet so it. it's gonna test everything my acting my yeah i mean this is, it's gonna be fun definitely yeah, so yeah that's <laughs> <really funny. laughs> so, okay into it more set go ahead okay You're so i'll pick one yes. okay i'll just put this here okay. the first song that i have here is Oh my gosh, really? We're going to start with this song? We belong together. <laughs> we belong together with Mariah. Oh no, okay. What's What emotion? Oh, yeah, no, <laughs> oh, this is easy. This one was in love. I can you, you see? Can see it. In love, okay. That one's easy. Well, I guess it's already a love song yeah. in a yeah. certain way. In love. How do I make myself in love? Whoa. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, when you left, I lost a part of me. It's still so hard to believe. Come back, baby, please, cause we belong together. <laughs> 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 Game. I'm sorry. It's like you know those songs that you like want to sing, yeah. like keep on singing. That's one of them. 100%. Yeah, yeah. It's a jam. For I guess for everyone, it's a jam. It's yeah. a jam. Yeah. Do you have like a favorite artist? Like, have you been starstruck to meet like an artist, or who is that person for you? Of course. I mean, everyone, all the artists that, especially because I come from a province in Cebu, which is not really super accessible when it comes to like opportunities, like, like being here in Manila. Yeah. So especially when I moved here and me and my mom moved here in Man to Manila first and I mean, Regine, <laughs> yes. Mr. Rich, Regine Velasquez. And I've been singing her songs ever since, like, ever since ever since i could remember i was singing her songs in in singing competi competitions in the bathroom and in school <laughs> everywhere like she was right there and then i got to meet her and what really just uh, struck me all the more is is even despite being an amazing singer and performer she's also an amazing amazing person and she's super sweet and even now that i don't really get to see her especially with the pandemic and she knows I'm going through some stuff. Yeah. She would just reach out to me and just send me messages and just tell me that we're here for it or like we're That's she's amazing. there, her family is there for me. And I mean, I love her, and I'm I, I still get starstruck every time I get to sing with her and just talk to her. Like it doesn't feel real because she's like Regine, Literally, Regine, <laughs> right? Like <laughs> she's that person. Yeah. She has that like mm, that aura. 
Oh my god, we actually had the opportunity to speak with her in an interview <laughs> thing like this. And when we tell you, well, you already know, but like she, <laughs> yeah, she's the sweetest person, and also she's the funniest yes, person we've ever she met. She is hilarious. She is. Her sarcasm, like. I think we have a specific type of sense of humor that many people don't get, but for her, mm. she was getting our jokes. We were getting her. Jokes. It was mm. a really good time. She was sweet. Uh, yeah. I love, I love her. Yeah. She's one of the best, I think. And there's, I mean, there's a lot of icons or like pe- people or artists like her who are seasoned, who are still in the industry right now. She's one of the best personally. And I think not just for me, for everyone, because I know of kids younger than me who are still singing her songs. Yeah. she's she's that of an icon here in the philippines and i'm sure jo- not just here because i mean you guys know her you guys got to meet her as well she's she's an amazing person she's an amazing woman and we all thrive to be like her strive to be like her yes oh my god factual factual <laughs> <laughs> you ready for the next song <laughs> okay next song all right. oh, no. okay let's see this one <laughs> <laughs> shape of you oh no ah! and here's shape of you yeah. okay so what's our mood for this one i'm just gonna pull up the lyrics real yeah, quick no, don't worry. Right. let's see let's see you can oh, no. make them up test that songwriting no i'm playing i'm playing i'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. <laughs> okay, this i don't want to interesting we got annoyed 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 <laughs> okay wait um <laughs> How, how do you do annoyed annoyed like maybe pissed off like kind of anno- like pissed off at someone like, oh my god you're so annoying yeah you could <laughs> that did not help that did not help <laughs> or it could be like i'm i'm looking through the lyrics right now it could be annoyed because this the person that we could be talking about is so amazing but we can't be with that person so it's annoying okay, okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Is that doable? Okay. That let's see if I can <laughs> if I can get into that mindset. I mean, it could it could still be the same. Okay. Let's try. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> I'm in love with the shape of you. We push and pull like a magnet do. Although my heart is falling too. I'm in love with your body. And last night you were in my room. And now my bed sheets smell like you. Every day discovering something brand new. I'm in love with the shape of you. Is that even annoyed? It's like she was just vibing. <laughs> Ooh, so it could be like a kind of a reggae version i never thought that's yeah like that. the way you just sang it kind of gave me like a you know i'm super so like mm. yeah. you gave me a little, you know. <laughs> another feel of the song yeah. uh, i don't think like that was the super hard yet like i feel like there's gonna be a, a song and a, an emotion there where i'm we're we're gonna struggle we're <laughs> we're all gonna struggle okay <laughs> It'll okay. be fine. It'll be great. <laughs> people come in okay. with the harmony. I feel like our viewers would hate that though, because be we're just really, why? Because like they want to hear. Can't you can't sing. <laughs> That's why. That's well, you guys are in the choir for a year. <laughs> for a whole year, more set. I mean, eight years you got or something like that. <laughs> like, come on now. No. You ready for the next song? Yes, I'm ready. Okay. Let's do it. Uh, next song. This one. Oh. Uh, so posted. Driver's license. Oh no. Okay. Not right okay. now. Oh my god. I okay. Absolutely. Yeah. This song is bomb. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Sure. I'll go. And she's amazing. Olivia's like songwriting also comes from. I feel like she's like just pulling it out from a very, very, very personal place. Yeah. So and but it's also just really, really um inspiring to just see someone like that who's just super honest also with their emotions and putting it in song so i mean she's something else as well so props to her and her team she's they're doing great job with everything yeah they're they're killing it her album is so yeah, yeah. good for you Super. good for you yeah trader right. i can list all yeah, of the this is really good <laughs> oh this is easy awesome. i was hoping this oh it's sad. Oh, oh. Wait, no i'll just play it as is <laughs> 
<laughs> this wasn't hard at all. <laughs> okay. Um, let's go with okay. Um, and I know we weren't perfect, but I never felt this way for no one. And I just can't imagine how you could be so okay. Now that I am gone, I guess you didn't mean what you wrote in that song about me. Cause you said forever, now I travel alone past the street. <laughs> 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 I'm getting emotional. Like my eyes are tearing up. And oh. I think that's also, but we've known this for a long time since we started reacting mm -hmm. to you. Is that like you're what embodies such a great artist is when they're able to like get into the feelings of the song, no matter what song they're singing. Mm -hmm. We've always been able to do that. Where we're <laughs> like, oh yes, girl, you you and your feels, we and our feels. <laughs> Literally. Oh, I think I have something to share about that now that you've mentioned that because I remember when I was recording um, I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with Akin Kanalang which is my very first original that that I interpreted so it wasn't written by me but it was it was written by Kiko Salazar a very good friend of mine but I remember when the song was out people were and I was 2014 I was 17 16 17 18 and everyone was just saying who hurt you? <laughs> Everyone just telling me, Morissa, who hurt you? This song is so painful. But I mean, I mean, that young, and um, I don't really remember going through like a major love heartbreak. Yeah. But yeah. I guess I just pulled it from another place where it was kind of a similar feel, where it also, it was still true to me, painful to me, but it wasn't that same message or that same, um, like just, the idea of the song wasn't that kind. It wasn't from there, but it was also still pain. So maybe, I guess that's how, or that's why people think that I was really, really hurt. I mean, and maybe that's what Olivia's going through <laughs> at her age. It's like she has so much angst. Yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. That's all. I just wanted to share that. <laughs> I think kind of like probably one of like the top first three songs we ever seen of you mm. perform. Yeah. Or, you know, our, mm. at least you, the first one was, um, Never, never enough. enough and then when never we, enough oh, yeah. oh, oh my god <laughs> um, but like, particularly speaking about akin kind of long like mm. that video that performance blew up yeah like yes it did yeah. it like has yeah. like a hundred and thirty something million or something right now like, yeah crazy it's and a crazy. lot of your videos like they like that's that's those are the <laughs> yeah do you ever um, get, like a vibe though like, like you never know what's gonna do really really well like in your head you're singing you're mm. slaying killing it squeaking running belting yeah. <laughs> right yeah and then you're like yep this is gonna do well i already know it personally no i don't i because i guess just my mindset ever since and especially because i came from um just singing competitions my mindset has just always been to give my best in every performance because i especially before before the internet you never know who's watching and you never know who's there in the crowd so um and i think i remember very clearly one of my very first um wish performances that really blew up was my cover of secret love song on the wish bus and that was crazy because i at that time i was guesting as a wish jock for for as, as a jock for the for for the radio station so i was talking a lot and i ended it with secret love song and i had no idea because I, I had already performed other covers and songs on the wish bus before that moment and they were doing okay but i i didn't anticipate secret love song to just blow up because i just felt like it was it was just another performance of me giving my best but then i guess it spoke to a lot of people um so yeah it's it's never planned it's never planned i mean right. we can do as much as we can but it's the numbers or all the views and just knowing if it'll hit or not it's never planned and i think that's what um in the industry right now is is that you can put out different kinds of music and you, even like who would expect like billy eilish to just blow up 
because she's 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 the only one like her yeah. like who would think um like artists like her would be like super mainstream and a lot of people would be listening to her songs at yeah. that level um so because like in showbiz you don't really know or in the in entertainment industry you can't really predict what people like mm -hmm. it's just that's why like with my mindset and especially just going back to signature as well it's just just putting out songs that's true to me and it's gonna hit the people that the message is really for them yeah like i'm not just putting out the songs just to like impress people but i'm really just putting out the songs because it's stories that i want to share and if it hits you that way or it, if it hits you like deep inside then maybe that's a message you needed to hear so mm -hmm. it's just going back to the core of things and not really thinking or having to go to the pressure of it's gonna be gonna be a hit or not because even yeah. akin kanalang i performed that on the wish bus 2018 but that song was out in 2014. wow so it didn't it didn't blow up right away right and right. and Akin Kanalang was a part of a songwriting competition here in the Philippines and it did not win anything. It did not win any awards, it did not get any recognition. Well, people associated the song with me, but it wasn't like like it wasn't like driver's license everywhere, like here in the Philippines. But then it wasn't until eight years later that I performed it on the wish bus because I wanted to promote the song and I realized I wasn't able to perform it yet on the wish bus and I was um, promoting my um, concert. I sang the song and now it's everywhere. <laughs> and, I, it's everywhere and, and I'm just happy because I feel like in that way, just singing Akin Kanalang and um, like people like you guys and many other nationalities are able to listen to OPM also because of that song. And I just feel like I'm also able to just contribute to putting OPM or original Filipino music or Pinoy music in the charts. Um, or in the international scene through singing that song. <laughs> wow, yeah. I love that. That's and you so know, cool. you also said, um, like, going back to your age and how, I mean, we're young. We're not, <laughs> I, I hate when people are like, oh, you're a baby, blah, 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 blah. But you know mm -mm. what I kind of am compared to you being 50 years old. I kind of <laughs> baby, right? <laughs> but, but, you know, no hate. But, um, it's like a lot of people have that mentality of, you know, um if the if i'm putting it out because i i want to just reach different types of people it's not about the views mm. or anything that's right. definitely something that's like a millennial or gen z type oh, of 100%. thought process you know, mm. all about the hits the views what's the, gonna go viral what's gonna, go what's viral. gonna be the new trend TikTok is a mm -hmm. perfect example of that yeah. yes. you know so it's really like really cool to hear you especially being like our age also mm -hmm. yeah. something like that yeah like that's yeah. very wise well because if I feel like if we just give in, or especially when, when I was starting out with deciding to put up this EP, and I was really going through these situations in the past months where where I felt, or I, I was thinking about what people could think, it limits my, it limits me. Like, yeah. okay, we'll just not do that because maybe they won't like it. Or, but it could have, it could have been something amazing, yeah. right? So like, with me working on, on Signature, on my EP, it's just like, I'm just gonna throw it out there and if it's gonna be a hit um great but if it's not gonna be a hit maybe it's not now <laughs> like akin ka na lang. maybe it's yeah, not true. this time because even on tiktok there's so many songs that are being brought back or have another life so i'm just really trusting the process of things and if it if it becomes a hit or if it doesn't become a hit or none of the songs from this ep is gonna become a hit maybe it's gonna happen for the next one so but it's just also accepting and just um like me and my team just really worked so hard on signature and we really put or especially me i put a lot in there also um personally emotionally and everything um it's just we just we're just really excited for everyone to hear it and we're excited for what how it's also going to affect people or yeah. their how they're going to feel listening also to the songs or what their stories are listening also to the songs yeah. it's all so, about yeah. god's timing right maury oh yes all about god's timing. testimony to that oh yeah Hallelujah. definitely glory be to jesus <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's just you just gotta be patient and just really work hard while you're waiting while you're waiting for that goal to really happen because sometimes 
it happens when you least expect it that's happened to me so many times where i feel like wait i'm not ready but then the the opportunity is there so i really have to go back to what i learned and just give the best that i can mm -hmm. give the best shot yeah mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> We're ready to go into our next. Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> I died. I loved it. Right. Thank you. Thank you also for just letting me share. I mean, I haven't really um, shared that much of what 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 I was going through in the past couple of months, and it's just refreshing talking to other people as well. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's I mean, okay. all you'd like. Yes, and also uh. with that too, because like when we're going through things. And I think we're pretty much the same in yeah. that way where we'll just keep it very much in. But that's yeah. what kind of makes us like explode. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So talking to somebody is like yeah. really, really important. Yeah. I started that way. Yeah. I started that way, like especially in the earlier years of my career. I was so amazing. I would I will brag. I was amazing at hiding what I was going through. Like I would just smile. I would. No one would think I was going through stuff until maybe they heard about heard about it from other people. Yeah. But I, I learned I learned to just um, master that at an early age. But I think lately, just especially with the pandemic, it just I just needed to learn to let go because it's it's hard just having to keep everything in yeah. and then in a wrong opportunity you might explode yes and and i think also in songwriting it's very 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 important to just let it go <laughs> <laughs> let it go that song was my anthem for a while yeah. because of that reason right. that yeah. i felt like i needed to just hold it all in but then you have to let go and just let go and let God literally. Hello, amen. Lift it up. Yeah, you better Please. preach. <laughs> yes. Yes. You ready? Lie. Yes, I'm ready. Okay. Go Next. Away. I'll just okay because people might think God I'm so using pretty. this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank okay. you. It's for my next succulent. Yes. <laughs> okay. Our next song is oh rainbow. I'm surprised you can know this song. Speaking of OPM. Yes. Yes. We, what, how did we see it? Um, I don't remember, but we reacted to it somehow. Mm -hmm. I don't really remember. And um, I was so in love with like, again, I don't know the term, terminology, the melody, the harmony. I don't really yeah. know, but you know, <laughs> it's the, like way it flowed, <laughs> the way it flowed, <laughs> the words behind it. I can proudly say mm -hmm. I probably know 80% of the lyrics and that's pretty good for yeah, me. No, it pretty is. Good yeah. for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those songs that, that's just really, um, it lifts you up. Yeah. Like it's just nice, feel good song. So oh, I would understand why this is one of those songs that would really stick out because it's just, it's just those songs that you want to listen to like every day if you could. <laughs> Oh, it feels playlist actually oh my god right <laughs> literally yeah. girl you're you need to send me that playlist sorry <laughs> i just got this pissed. in front of maury okay no. we need to vibe with you <laughs> <laughs> okay well, this one is happy excited okay happy excited yeah okay Let's see um with the lyrics that we have right now i'm just thinking of I'm happy, excited to just, with this song, I think, to just get out of this pandemic. That's Hello, my mind okay, for this okay. one. <laughs> okay, so. Take a little time, baby. See the butterflies, colors. Listen to the birds. Have a scent to say for me and you. Can you feel me? This is such a wonderful place to be. Even if there is pain now, everything will be all right. For as long as the world such as thou will be night and day. Can you hear me? There's a rainbow always after the rain. Love that song! <laughs> it's perfect to go after what 
we were just talking about too. Right. Um, I know, right? Speaking <laughs> of timing, look at God. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys need to hear this song right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for real. <laughs> like, I'm gonna guide Maury's hands. I'm gonna just guide. <laughs> like, this one. <laughs> After that, the session. This one. <laughs> oh my god. I feel like have we gone through all the happy emotions now? Because I'm scared. Oh, I feel- we've got some good we got one <laughs> more kind of happy vibe but the rest are kind of different so it's different okay okay got the easy ones out <laughs> oh no <laughs> okay let's go through another song let's pick this one okay um i don't know why i use post-its Okay, here we go. It's stone cold. It's stone cold now. I hope I don't get the happy one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> oh. Angry. Angry. Oh, oh that's very fitting. Okay. Everything is working in your favor today, Listen. <laughs> Thank you, Thank you some juicy games. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> tricky a little bit. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um. Where? How? So, uh, happy for you. Okay. Angry. I mean, the song is already kind of angry. Right. Pretty much. Yeah. Um. God knows I try to feel happy for you. Know that I am even. If I can't understand, I'll take the pain. Give me the truth. Me and my heart will make it through. And be happy as hell. I'm happy for you. Yeah. <laughs> She <laughs> angry. I a, like your notorious squeak in that song. Am I right? I think yeah. you and your squeaks. You have <laughs> squeaks that you do in like a lot of your songs. Every time you've done one, we like jump up and we're just like, oh, <laughs> yeah, jump up. we drop to the floor. We, we get walk out. out. We walk out of frame. <laughs> we're like, oh, oh. again. <laughs> Where did those come from? Um, the squeaks. I didn't have that. When I was starting, when I when I started, um, like with my first set of songs before in my early years in the career, I didn't have that squeak. It wasn't only until I I was listening to a lot of so it's really based on musical influence. I was listening to a lot of Mariah. I mean, she has a lot of that. Mm-hmm. Jesse J. Yeah. Sia. Oh my God. Sia and Demi. Those four artists, I mean, I just kept hurting it. I just kept hurting it, and then I tried it out, and I realized it was kind of a placement that would go... go. That, it's, it's a placement where I would do going into a whistle, but won't get there. Yeah, right, right. So, yeah. sorry, I'm not very technical, but, I mean, when people ask me how I would do the whistle, I can never explain it. Yeah. Just because... I, I mean, I just think, and I just do it. I just do it. I just <laughs> I just do it. Explain it. No, it's no big deal. I'm just <laughs> physically amazing. I'm just perfect. <laughs> no, I don't. I'm so bad at explaining. But then, yeah, with the vocal squeak, and it just, it's, it's just there. And I guess it worked to my advantage because, especially when I'm having to sing really, really sad songs, it, I feel like it adds to, to that. Like it's like a cry. Oh, it's like a cry. God. People also say so. Like. Oh, okay. So it's there. <laughs> I would do that. No, it definitely takes a song to a whole new level. Like yeah. it's every time, every time. Yeah. I'm just like ah! jumping out of our seat. <laughs> oh, squeak! Yeah. Oh, it's squeak! <laughs> Go for it. Yeah. Yeah. Go for Next it. song. Let's hear this one. Um. Oh, I can get along. Yeah. Okay. The one we thought was envious <laughs> or jealous. Or jealous. Uh, it's still the perfect emotion. Do you know what the song means, or have have you have your subscribers kind of translated the song for you guys? I remember when we reacted to it, we translated the title, but we never like understood. The, we never read yeah, what and the I don't, lyrics I don't actually mean. People and they didn't translate it yeah, for us. They didn't point. translate it. Yeah. So that that emotion is actually the feel of the song. Yeah, what? because 
Yeah, <laughs> because akin ka na lang is, um, I think the direct translation for it is like, please be mine. Right. Yeah. Please be mine. So the whole message of the song is basically about being friend zoned and yeah. how. <laughs> right? <laughs> there. <laughs> so it's like just one of those songs where you like someone and they don't like you back and they like someone else. So that's that song. So that mood is perfect. Yeah. <laughs> They're gonna think we're cheating or something. We're not <laughs> like this is genuinely happening. It's random. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's okay. We're not it's random. <laughs> But okay, let's sing. Well, so we're, we're basically singing Akin Kanalang as is. Akin Kanalang, Akin Kanalang, Ang binadasa sa araw-araw, Akin Kanalang, Akin Kanalang. At naghihintay hanggang akin ka na Kirill Yari! So beautiful! We have no. kind of like an ongoing joke with that song to uh, too Where yeah. we'll just be like Akin ka na lang! Like always! Like it's just a random period of time yeah, We'll, we'll look like, at each other and be like Akin ka na lang! Akin ka na lang! Well, it fits, it fits. If you want something, then sing the song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> actual. actual. Okay, so I'm just going to hold these in my hands because I feel like the, the yeah, thing yeah. that's inside yeah. is going to fall. So it's on random, guys. We're not cheating. Shake, shake. Next song. Shake, shake. What is our next? Oh, we got four more. Ooh. Next song. Oh, it's Phoenix. Ah! Phoenix. Okay. I have no clue. <laughs> 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 this song sounds familiar. <laughs> Passionate. Bro, what is going on here? I don't understand. This is like... I was praying so hard. Maybe God was listening to me. <laughs> Listen, I need to just write down your notes of your prayers because I need God to listen to me like that. <laughs> no. We are going to be very... You think I, I think more challenging, so oh, right. we'll get to it. Okay. We'll get to it finally. Oh, perfect. Okay. Go so Phoenix. It. Yeah. Um, passionate. Um. Rise like a sun. Oh my god. Sorry, sorry. Thank you, thank you, Malili. My lyrics are wrong. Yeah. Wrong lyrics to my own song. Okay, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. Sorry. Shine like a. Yeah, come on. Shine like a sun. Rolls like a phoenix, take to the sky, cause we got no limits. Don't be afraid to reach for the stars, cause we were made to go that far. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Held it. Held it. <laughs> you sound just like the original singer. <laughs> oh. <laughs> She's yeah, she sounds familiar too. <laughs> kind of cool, I guess. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, next song, last three songs and last yeah. three mood. Okay, I'm scared now because you said it's gonna be challenging. Uh. Oh, okay, "All of Me," oh. John Legend. Yes. Okay, we got shot. <laughs> Shocked for all of me. Yeah, like surprised, shocked. All of me loves all of you. What? Like what? exactly. I love your perfect really? <laughs> perfection. Oh. oh my gosh. Okay, we will we'll, we'll, we'll definitely do it kind of like that. Kind of. <laughs> but I, I, I'm I'm so bad at like changing melodies because I have this tendency to just really sound how it's how it sounds so right, yeah. i will try to be that mood <laughs> surprise <laughs> surprise okay because all he loves all of you love your curves and all your edges all your perfect imperfections give your all to me i'll give my all to you 
Even when I lose, I'm winning. Oh, sorry. You're my end and my beginning. Even when I lose, I'm winning. Cause I give you all of me. And you give me all of me. Oh? Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, that, that that one was definitely challenging. That was not usual. <laughs> um. So, are you looking for background singers at the moment? Because you can speak for yourself. I'm not a not not. <laughs> <laughs> well, she she left me. Be like <laughs> stupid in the background. <laughs> I mean, yes. Please join me if the internet doesn't lag. Right. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I mean that's I think that's hard because I've had live streams where I've, where I had to go up with an other artist and then people would ask me for or ask us to do like a duet but especially in the Philippines it's it, it's not successful just because of the internet because it's like it lags all the time so but I mean please please sing well with me <laughs> I was kidding I was kidding let's let's move on I, I can't sing. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we're down to our last two. Man, shuffling, shuffling. Every day I'm shuffling. Oh, okay. Emotions by Destiny's Child. I needed to clarify that. Destiny's Child, guys. Yeah. All right. Emotions. This one okay. was disgusted. Oh my gosh, really? The emotion of disgusted, like, that's gross. <laughs> Girl, emotions? Yeah, not her. <laughs> well, it's it's okay. I I I'm I'm listening to the um, first line. It oh, it'll it'll pass. Let's see. Let's see if it works. Chorus is. Wait, I I I'm playing the Mariah. I'm looking at the Mariah. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> okay, here, here, here. Um, disgusted. Disgusted. <sighs> okay. In the words of a broken heart, it's just emotions taking me over, caught up in sorrow, oh lost in a song. But if you would come back, come home to me, darling. Don't you know there's nobody left in this world to hold me tight? Don't you know there's no, nobody left in this world to kiss goodnight, goodnight. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like, I was just singing it sarcastically now, yeah, because yeah, it's yeah. hard. No, but it that worked. That was hard. That's good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Oh, okay, last song now. Last song. Last okay, emotion. what is our last song? Oh no, what is our last emotion? Save the best for last. It's I have nothing. And Whitney. Last emotion is guilty. Huh. Guilty. Okay, okay. Um, so yes, again. Uh, kind of makes sense. I have nothing. It done. Like you. Right? Don't make me close. One more. Yeah. Yeah. It's also it's also the feel of the song. So we're just singing it yeah, as is. Those <laughs> prayers, man. They powerful. I'm hey, telling you. <laughs> all right, last one. Okay, the hardest one of all, I think. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Well, don't make me close one more day. I don't want to hurt anymore. Stay in my Don't walk away from me, no, don't walk away from me, don't you don't walk away from me, I have nothing, 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 if I don't have you. <laughs> Oh my gosh, where is that? 
Well, I'm glad we ended with that song because if I started with that song, I wouldn't know how to do all the other songs. <laughs> <laughs> they worked out perfectly. Oh Super. All right, we talked oh, about your EP just a little bit, but just to go a little bit more in depth into the EP, yes, just to end it off, <laughs> just to end it off, because that's what yes. we are most excited about. We're yes. very excited about it too. So yes, yes. yes. Um, we watched you. your trailer of it um on your yes. YouTube channel, mm -hmm. but can you go mm -hmm. a little bit more into depth about the inspiration behind it? I know we've seen mm -hmm. um right. So like the reason behind the title signature, we think that's so yes. beautiful and yeah, like it is that's really, so unique. Really pretty. Um just mm -hmm. give us a little bit more, you know, for Maybe the people at home. For okay, um so signature. We decided to call it signature because um as I've shared, this is the first time that I'm um like co-writing and co-producing my own stuff so signature is is my ep my very first um all original body of work and i think when i thought of that title it just made sense because it's like me putting my mark on things and because this is also my first time songwriting so it's like me sharing a piece of me it's like me putting my mark in there and then um like with the ep cover art and actually a lot of my supporters have kind of got it all those symbols that you see in the cover art are the symbols to each of the songs wow. and they were able to connect that like for love you still it's the lighthouse which you also see in the music video yeah. phoenix is obviously the fireworks and then for the remaining three songs like for trophy there's a trophy there there's a trophy there there's a laurel leaf there um but i think it'll make more sense when they actually hear the songs yeah. and then there's also like mirror that's why there are two faces there it's mirror and then there's two hands um that represent um will you stay which is the last um move track from the ep and um and even that whole concept um we have such an amazing like creative director his name is jason max he thought of that whole concept but what i really loved about all of it was um, because it's like a an, an embroidery, it's like um, it's like something like you cross stitch or something. It's embroidery. Um, we were when he gave me that idea that he wanted to give or he wanted to do it in in an embroidery. It made sense to me because, and he explained it super perfectly, and then it made sense to me. Is like you know how in life, or especially in the entertainment industry, you only see one side, mm -hmm. and it's usually the pretty side. And in that yeah. EP, or in the message that I wanted to share, in that EP, in the front of the embroidery, you see it all perfect. But then if you, if you turn it around, and then you see all the, all the threads going together, and it's just, it's a mess. It's, it's a mess behind, in, behind that beautiful picture. And I feel like in life, and especially what I was going through, working on the EP especially, is people are already going to see the, the finished product, and it's already, like, already very good. But then they don't know the process of what me and the team had to go through in able, uh, yeah, in able to to achieve that pretty image that they all see. They don't see the back of it. They don't see how messy it was. They all they don't see how much revisions we had to go through. How many small arguments I also had to have with my team. Um, so I guess that's also kind of the message that we wanted to um, do. And I also just wanted to share that even with the round, like for Love You Still in the cover art, it was like the stamp and it was round. And for Phoenix, it was like, um, like it was on fire, like a lava rock um, on, on a round also. Um, I also got to share this with someone else, but, um, but the, we wanted to keep that round, round symbol in all of the, of the cover arts because it's like me going full circle. Ooh. After <laughs> after <laughs> ten years in the industry, and this was something that wasn't planned. It was wow. this was my personal interpretation. Like my my um, creative director didn't think, or maybe he did at first for Love You Still, but he didn't really quite connect it the way that I saw it. Like I like the circle because it's like going full circle from me starting and just singing for the past 10 years and now and now I'm having to go through this process as well of being a songwriter and producer so 
um but yeah these are songs that are very dear to me these are my first set of originals first set and i mean definitely there are other songs that are not part of this ep yet but we will be releasing in the future but for now we're just really excited for these songs because um these are personal stories as well and stuff that i've also i also just um wanted to share my point of view of things so and yeah i'm looking forward to everyone just hearing the song and and just hearing what they think about me doing these these tracks and just sharing more originals now wow <laughs> yeah oh, it's so beautiful oh my god the whole analysis behind it yeah. the whole meaning it, all, um, like it, it makes sense it yeah. all adds up for sure, yeah. for sure. I'm, I'm, and it's also because I, I'm someone who loves like putting symbols and things. Mm -hmm. Like even my posts, sometimes I put ran. It may seem to other people like it's random emojis, but to me, it, I'm putting something out there through that one emoji. But they don't. It won't really like. It's not the same meaning for others, or they just see it as an emoji. But sometimes I put it there for a reason. Yeah. And, and although some of the fans have decoded it because they're smart, they're amazing. <laughs> I mean, they were even able able to figure out like all the different symbols from the EP cover. Oh, yeah. wow. But like, I like just putting all those small hints there because I don't know. I, I personally have fun with it. Mm -hmm. I have fun with just those kinds of things. So it was just sharing the fun, I guess, also to other people and making them think. Yeah, and I also yeah. like I also like sorry this is one more thing I'd like to share no, like even go for it. <laughs> like even for love you still when I released love you still um it was coming from a very personal um part of my life mm -hmm. but I loved how we wrote it that it sounded very general and I even read in the comments that they like how the song is very general mm -hmm. because they get to relate to it in that in in their own way and not in the way that I intended it to be. And I think that's one of the greatest things I love about music is that the 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 songwriter or the singer could mean one thing with a song, but then it still goes down to how the song speaks to the listener. Mm -hmm. So, and I'm hoping that in the next couple of songs, um, I may intend it to be one thing, but maybe some people or some supporters will will go through or will remember a memory of their life that was brought back because of a song so and i mean music is just powerful that way yeah I was gonna so. say, that's the beauty behind music how people can interpret it different things and grasp onto it and make it their own meaning yes. yeah to their life. yeah yeah oh my goodness that's what makes it re relatable i think yeah. just yeah. how i see the song and yeah <laughs> from the ep i know because all of them are so like d near and dear to your heart is there one in particular that really sticks out to you is the most meaningful maybe the one you're most excited for most excited for i mean f with, with the five tracks two have already been out right. um i think of course the most special to me would would be love you still because it was the first one and i think it's the most personal out of all uh, out of all the other songs i mean the other songs are still very uh are still coming from my experiences as well or my stories but um it's love you still that's really like it, it started it all for me i think it started it all up until now i still have a hard time singing that song for many reasons not because it's just vocally hard to sing but also i guess the emotion in that song is very very it, it hits home for me yeah. so so yeah but i mean the rest of the songs are also just as personal and i'm i'm just excited i'm excited for everyone to hear the rest of the song <laughs> who are you <laughs> excited and nervous but love you still actually um i know you have to go just one quick no no it's okay okay yes um <laughs> and love you still um I think I said, because we reacted to the music video, right? Okay. I think we said that, like, we really appreciate how you're still adding in and leaving those, like, big vocals and, like, still giving us, you know, you know, Everything. all the runs right. and the belts and all the stuff. But mm -mm. you're still able to, like, put out a song that we could hear, like, on the radio. on the radio or, you know, do something like that. And I really, really appreciate that um mm -hmm. is it hard to find like when you're in the song like Writing, process, and creating process yeah is it hard mm -hmm. to find that balance though because um mm -hmm. like where how much vocals should i really add in and yeah like, you understand yes yes yeah. yes oh actually i was 
I am so happy to hear that question just because um, when I was sharing with my fans that I was going to be quote unquote rebranding, a lot of them were nervous because they thought me rebranding with me would, would be me transitioning to a totally new sound. But but I explained to them because the originals that I've done before are really more ballad types like Whitney Houston and Mariah kind of songs. And yes, those were fun. But um, with these new set of songs that I wanted to put out, um, I wanted it, you, you actually pointed it out, I wanted it to kind of be kind of the songs that would that you would hear in the radio right now. Yeah. And it's to me, it's not really me rebranding because the covers that I would do, like Secret Love Song or even um, Driver's License, these are just covers. Mm -hmm. But people are already familiar with me singing in that kind of genre. Mm -hmm. So I guess I just wanted to transition them that um, with the originals that I put out, it's not really super different from the songs or the stuff that I've already been doing right now because the the quote unquote the genres of these songs are are very are the exact um the exact um genre that i've been singing covers with mm -hmm. so it was just it was just making allowing or letting people understand that i'm not totally rebranding because even within me like if they're gonna hear the, the rest of the songs they know not they they would know that I wouldn't be satisfied if I didn't put anything that's challenging for people <laughs> because that's also like, I also want to put that challenge and sometimes I regret it I regret like even with love you still that last note for the first times that I, I I needed to sing it in a performance I I I would always say why did I make this so hard <laughs> why did I make this so hard for me even for me yeah. but like even like like during the recording of love you still i was just in that moment and i just i also just felt like it was a it was a riff or a, I, I just needed to do it in the song yeah and of course i was trying to be careful for it to not be like your usual ballads or always right there because i also want it to be songs that people can listen to every day that's not super tiring for the ears because i i have old i have some originals that are original originally by other songwriters that are i would feel that i really couldn't sing again and again because it's vocally tiring and emotionally tiring as well yeah so and and going back i just didn't want to stick to trends also because one of my mindset for this ep and they're, they're gonna realize this when they hear the full ep is that um i wanted it to kind of be timeless in a way that even if you're listening to it 10 years from now or even if i i let my grandma listen to the song she would still appreciate it mm -hmm. that's why i was very very true i would i try to really stick or reminded my producers that i wanted to be live instruments because there was also a time in the past years or decades that i wasn't really into the music and the radio because it was all like tech techno stuff yeah. and yeah. So, like, like I would always say, "Where's, where's the singing? I don't hear it anymore." Wow. But then I was, I was just trying to merge everything, but at the same time, still trying to be true mm -hmm. to what my core was, and that's really like my big belts are still there, the hard notes are still there. Rest assured, guys, they're still there. <laughs> don't worry. Um, but at the same time, I, I just want it to be very, um, like now now and timeless so i'm sorry if that was if that was a mess of an explanation but, no, that was but yeah. all of the little nuggets you have been saying have been just yeah. like wisdom just there and there yeah. and there i'm like oh, oh yes no. We're excited for the ep we know yeah. everyone else is so excited for the ep yeah um and i feel like i have to ask this one last thing so people yes. don't get upset with me it's really an ask but um basically in the uh, Phoenix and uh, Love You Still, and I think um, a couple others. You mm. had a very particular hairstyle. Oh, my God. oh really? <laughs> uh, it was short and pink, and yes, I was yes. obsessed. When I tell you, uh, I, that, I was like, <laughs> ask the viewers, like, guys, 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 like, I want to do it. Comment down below. Should I do it? <laughs> Everyone was like, you should do it. I haven't done it yet, but I just yeah, to do say, it. Like, <laughs> We labeled it the strawberry shortcake <laughs> hair. Oh. Actually, yeah. 
yeah. Um, yeah, I, I personally miss my pink hair as well. But I would have to be honest, because like right now my hair isn't pink anymore. Mm-hmm. And my hair my hair died because of that. I mean it it, it literally died. My hair was shinier before and my fans know this. My hair was shinier before. It was healthier. But because I needed to go back to the salon to have it re recolored or re dyed, mm-hmm. it was taking a toll on my hair and that's why we're back to this for now. Because of course the pandemic salons are closed. <laughs> but yeah. it was it was very hard to maintain. I will have I I'd have to be honest about that because even if I mean if you go to my YouTube channel and you go through all my my pink hairs, <laughs> pink hairs all my pink hair they're all in different shades like the I did a cover of Ain't Been Done it was on a lighter kind of pink yeah. Yeah. lighter pink like very pink goldy silvery time but then for Love You Still it's like hot pink like yeah. really pink <laughs> because my hairstylist was getting frustrated because I, I kept going back to the salon but then i had no control yeah. uh, i had no control about with how my hair would just go with the, with the process and so after phoenix i said i have to stop first because my hair is my hair is sad now <laughs> So, maybe, maybe I shouldn't. Yeah, you know, strawberries. Oh. Is what we're saying. <laughs> maybe not yet. <laughs> but I, I mean, I love it. that question. I, it's been on the back of my mind this whole time. I'm like, because <laughs> that was, yeah. Even though it was short lived and it was hard to maintain, it was mm. great. And I feel like you got the most out of it. Oops. I I loved I loved that. I was even trying to look for wigs wigs of that kind of hair so that i don't have to because i know casey does that or casey did that before that so that she won't have to color her hair over and over because she did for a time she just buy wigs mm-hmm. but um and we were doing this <laughs> and we were doing this or we did we we have this idea super late already like during right before we were shooting phoenix and there was there wasn't any good wigs good pink wigs around here that would make it in time for the music video so i just decided to color my hair again and then after that i was just like i need to stop my hair is my hair is tired (laughs) but i I miss it right now (laughs) oh thank you thank you i i I miss it i mean definitely that's and that was the first time i've tried going that bald with my hair yeah because my fans know it's just i was always that safe person like even with my nails i'm very very safe i'm not a very poppy color mm-hmm. person so i'm very like beige and brown neutrals very neutrals but i was so proud that i did that pink hair for at least once in my life <laughs> <laughs> at least Her. so oh, i think you should we'll do wig. once <laughs> we'll wig, long story short we'll get a wig look out for that I'm <laughs> <laughs> tag me tag me i'd tag love you. to see you. <laughs> oh my god thank you so so much for your time for your company you are such a beautiful soul yeah Um, likewise you guys you guys are amazing and i really a lot of my followers and fans love you and even before i I, i've been doing um these these um interviews i i already gave them like a heads up that i would be doing some stuff with some of their favorite reactors and a lot of them really said you should do stuff with bubs and dough (laughs) you guys are like on top of their list like legit so all the moin ethics out there thank you oh <laughs> thank you guys that's so sweet that's so crazy oh, wow yeah, but, like, i think you talked about it before too like it uh, being a 360 moment for you this ep yeah this is a 360, mm-hmm. moment, this is a 360 for us. moment for us 100 oh. <laughs> percent. Yeah. like from the start to now like you really were a catalyst for our channel thank you so much yes. just for your talent yeah because um, like to put people like smiles on people's faces, even just doing what we do right. is just like amazing. But we couldn't have done that without your amazing talent. And so, I mean, I would have to thank you guys really, because I mean, there's so much talent in the world and in the Philippines, like, oh my gosh, it's everywhere. Um, but I, I really just want to thank you guys also for just um, choosing my videos as well and taking the time to also react to them and just all your genuine reactions as well and your thoughts on just everything you see in my performances. Thank you. Like, really, thank you. It means so much. And especially, especially in the past couple of years, and I say this really vocally, that the quote-unquote the international recognition that i have right now is really because of the reactors it's really because of you guys Mm -hmm. because 
it's oh, wow. you guys were able to put me on your channel and introduce me to you, maybe your audience as well and that's something that we probably wouldn't be able to do on our own because Shepra, we are especially here we have like a certain filipino community only yeah, but then yeah. it's really because of you guys the reactors and all just everyone just spreading the music that gave me or put me in where i am right now so i'm i'm just really really thankful and i wanted to also kind of meet you guys and just personally you? thank you guys we should have already met our best friend but you know what we'll talk about that <laughs> <laughs> if you're ever in florida anywhere in the u.s in the u.s we will travel to come see you 100 yes. percent. just my best friend is actually there in florida no way so no way. If I end up flying there, I will message you guys. Holla we need to us. meet. <laughs> Listen, and we got the place. We'll take you around. We'll show you around. Oh, area. I've never been there. <laughs> I, would, I would love to. Because I've, I've, I've always been in the States. Like, I have so many shows there, but never never there it's always in california which i'm not which i'm not complaining but it's always i'm always in the places where the filipinos are right that's why right. it's usually um california or new york or farthest baby is washington but <laughs> <laughs> washington but then all the other states like my grandpa is based in texas and my grandma is based in um illinois but I've never been to those. I've never been to those states, and I've never gotten to perform there yet. And my best friend is there in Florida, so I'm just, I'm just waiting. Someone take me there. <laughs> Listen. Oh my god. Especially in Miami, girl. We got you. Yeah, we got you. <laughs> Noted. <laughs> Bucket list. <laughs> we, but, uh, we hope to meet you hopefully soon. Hopefully this isn't the last time on the channel. Right. And um, but even beside that, it's just been amazing just to get to know you as a person. Yes. And know that you're real. <laughs> you're human. You're human. <laughs> book, book, book. <laughs> oh, thank you. It's my pleasure and honor. Thank you so much for just having me over at your channel as well we love you and we will see you soon yes yeah guys, we will link on the down below. <laughs> yes and uh even though we don't need it information but. yeah well, y'all know who this is so but, but <laughs> down, below, down below and check her out <laughs> like uh, here yes. here do <laughs> <laughs> <Pipe> it <up. laughs> now oh no <laughs> Do it now. Do it now. <laughs> All right, we love you. Bye bye. Love you. Bye, guys. See you soon. Thank you. Ooh. Ooh. That was fun. Ooh.